Although booking sites like Expedia.com are becoming increasingly user-friendly every week, some first-time visitors may still feel intimidated by the booking process. Finding the best hotel for your needs and budget can be tricky, but Expedia.com makes it easy. With just a few clicks, you can search for hotels by city, airport, or landmark, and compare prices, reviews, and amenities side by side. If you're new to using Expedia or need a refresher, here's a quick guide on how to book hotels through the site. You'll be an Expedia Pro in no time. Number 1. Go to Expedia.com The first thing you'll need to do is visit Expedia.com in your web browser. You can use any browser and Expedia.com should work on any device, whether you're booking from a computer, tablet, or smartphone. Expedia also has a mobile app, which can be downloaded for free from the App Store for iOS devices or Google Play for Android devices. Once you're on the homepage, you can familiarize yourself with the site's layout. The search bar is at the top where you can enter your travel dates and destination. Below you'll see some of Expedia's featured deals and popular destinations. There's a blog section where you can read about travel tips, news, and more. Now that you know your way around the site, it's time to start searching for hotels. Number 2. Enter your search criteria. To begin your search, scroll back to the search bar and enter your destination. Check in and check out dates and the number of travelers. For example, if you're planning a trip to London, you would enter London in the destination field, then you'd use the calendar to select the travel dates. The check-in date is the day you arrive at your hotel, and the check-out date is the day you'll be checking out of your hotel and leaving for home. Under Guests, use the drop-down menu to select how many travelers will be staying in the hotel room. When you're finished, click search. Number 3. Filter your results. After you click search, Expedia will show you a list of all the hotels that match your criteria. To help narrow down your options, filter your results by price, star rating, amenities, and more. For example, if you only want to see 4 star hotels that cost less than $200 per night, you would select those criteria in the filters. You can also use the map to see where each hotel is located around landmarks and other points of interest. When you've found a hotel you're interested in, click details to learn more. Number 4. Compare hotels. Once you click on the hotel you like, you'll be taken to a page with more information about the property. Here you can see hotel photos, read reviews from other travelers, and compare prices for different room types. For example, a standard room might be less expensive than a suite. If you scroll down, you'll also see a list of amenities included with your stay. When you're ready to book, select your room type and click Reserve. Number 5. Create an account or sign in. Once you're ready to reserve a room, you'll be prompted to sign in if you have an existing Expedia account you can create one for free if you don't have an account. You can also book without creating an account, but we recommend creating one so you can manage your booking and view your itinerary online. You can even redeem some points with each booking you make using your account. Expedia allows you to sign up using your existing Gmail, Facebook, or Apple account to make it even easier. If you use one of those accounts to sign up, you won't need to remember another username and password. Number 6. Enter your contact information. After you sign in or create an account, you'll need to enter your contact information. This includes your name, email address, and phone number. Expedia will also ask for your payment details. When booking a hotel in the United States, you'll need to enter your credit or debit card information next. Expedia accepts Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. If you're booking a hotel outside of the United States, you may be able to pay with PayPal. Sometimes, depending on the property you choose, there's even an option to pay at the hotel when you check in. You can also purchase insurance at this point, but it's not mandatory. Generally, we recommend purchasing travel insurance if your trip is more than a week long or an international trip. Number 7. Complete the payment. 
After you enter your contact and payment information, review your booking details. This is your last chance to make changes before you finalize your purchase. When you're ready, click complete booking. That's it. You've now booked your hotel using Expedia. You'll receive an email confirmation with all of your booking details. We recommend printing this out or saving it to your phone so that you have it handy when you travel. All that's left to do is pack your bags and enjoy your trip. Tips for booking online. Number one, try to book your hotel room at least a few weeks in advance. This will give you the best selection of hotels and the best chance of getting your preferred room type. Number two, when comparing hotels, look at the total price, not just the nightly rate. Some hotels charge extra for things like parking, Wi-Fi, and breakfast. Number three, read the reviews from other travelers before you book on multiple platforms. This can give you a good idea of what to expect from the hotel. Number four, purchase travel insurance if your trip is more than a week long or on an international trip. This can protect you from cancellations, delay, or other emergencies. Number five, download the Expedia app before you travel. This will allow you to easily access your itinerary, booking, and customer support while you're on the go. Number six, check the hotel's cancellation policy before you book. This way you'll know what to expect if you need to cancel your reservation for any reason. With Expedia, booking a hotel room is quick and easy. You just need to follow the steps above and you'll be all set for your next trip. Happy travels!